Hello, and welcome to another Power Defense instructional video. Power Defense is Eaton's line of multi case circuit breakers that range from 15 amps to 2500 amps across six frames. Today, we're talking about Power Defense Frame 5. This globally rated circuit breaker provides electronic protection with Eaton's state of the art PXR trip units and has both an 800 amp and 1200 amp construction, carrying continuous current ratings of 320 amps. Up to 1200 amps, the PD5 is available with interruption ratings up to 150 kA at 480 volts and has a 100% rated current option. The PD5 trip unit featuring integral metering and breaker health is also field interchangeable and can be configured with ground fault protection, arms, and multiple communication options. Let's take a look at these step-by-step -step instructions for today's demonstration. Always work safely. For this installation, from the off position, use the push to trip button on the front of the trip unit to put the breaker into trip position. Mount the breaker to the enclosure wall using four mounting bolts provided. The PD5 flex shaft assembly is available with both high performance and metal handle options. Both options have NEMA 1, 3R12, and NEMA 4, 4X ratings available, and cable sizing from 4 feet up to 10 feet. When selecting the cable length, please ensure a minimum bending radius of 4 inches is maintained for proper operation. For information on drill and cutout patterns for mounting the flex shaft handle, please see the instruction leaflet included with each assembly, or on our website at eaton.com forward slash power defense. To install the high performance handle onto the enclosure, first, remove the two screws and lock washers from the top and bottom of the back of the outer handle mechanism. Then. Place the outer handle with attached gasket over the enclosure cutout as shown. Fasten the handle to the enclosure by reinserting the top mounting screw and lock washer through the enclosure and thread into the handle for a few turns, but not all the way. The metal handle is installed to the enclosure in the exact same way. Next, slide the toggle mechanism assembly into place over the top of the handle mounting screw. Fasten by completely tightening the bottom and top mounting screws and lock washers in place through the toggle mechanism bracket through the enclosure and into the handle. Next, rotate the outer handle to the on position. Hook the long end of the spring through the hole in the handle actuator link as shown, and hook the shorter end of the spring into the tab on the lower portion of the toggle mechanism. Then, rotate the bell crank, align, and attach it with the actuator link through the hole in the bell crank. Secure the connection using an E-ring provided in the assembly kit. Then, to install the actuator mechanism assembly, first, remove the bottom two cover screws as shown. Verify that the breaker is in trip position and move the outer handle mechanism into trip position so that the actuator mechanism mounts properly. Mount the actuator mechanism to the breaker by fastening the two mounting screws and lock washers provided as shown. Lastly, Fasten the door interlock pin and lock washer into the handle as shown. For the metal handle assembly, the door interlock tab is installed using the two screws provided. To complete the installation, operate the handle mechanism to ensure functionality. The assembly can be operated with either the door closed or by defeating the door interlock lever. Make sure the breaker changes state appropriately as the outer handle changes position. For more information about flex shaft adjustments, door hardware, and other details on this assembly, please see the instruction leaflet included, or visit our website at eaton.com forward slash power defense. Thanks again for watching. We hope this instructional video was helpful. For additional instructional videos, 3D drawings, tech data sheets, catalog information, and more, visit our website at eaton.com slash power defense.